Good evening. Well, it was a big day yesterday for George Galloway. Of course, as he was sworn in to Parliament, he gave a 45-minute press conference outside the St. Stephen's entrance to the Palace of Westminster. And there was a comment there that I don't think really got the pick-up in today's press that it deserved. Let's listen to what George Galloway had to say yesterday. So that's what I'm predicting here. The next election will be about Muslims and will be about the taking away of civil liberties in this country. It's Sunak's last hope. I pray for the social peace of our country that it's a forlorn hope. There you are. The next election will be about Muslims. I pray for the peace in our country. Quite disturbing words. I've said to you for months that full-on religious sectarian politics was coming to this country. I've had guest after guest in the studio telling me, Nigel, you're wrong. It absolutely isn't going to happen. But when you see him saying the next election will be all about Muslims, you realise we are there, folks, already. What did George Galloway mean? Well, what he meant was following the speech given on Friday outside Number 10 by Rishi Sunak, where Sunak said we can't have our society being torn apart. What Galloway is saying is the government will start to get tough on people who march in the streets, uh, chant from the river to the sea, which, as you well know, means not just the abolition of the state of Israel, but in many cases what they really mean is getting rid of the Jews as well, that they won't allow these kind of protests. They won't allow this kind of intimidation. They won't allow mobs to gather outside Parliament, won't allow them to harass MPs, local councillors, and that the police are going to get tough. And what George is saying is that Sunak is in desperate electoral trouble. He will do this. He will challenge Keir Starmer to say where he really stands on this issue. And that will leave the Muslim community isolated. And what George really means is he wants the Muslim community to feel put upon. He wants them to feel they haven't got the same rights as the rest of us in this country. This is the politics of full-on religious division. He wants Muslims to feel that they somehow aren't as equal in Britain to the rest of us. When it comes to him talking about he fears for the peace, well, I fear for the peace. I fear for what happened in Parliament Square just the other week. I fear uh, for you know, fundraising dinners, council meetings uh, that are being you know, you know, set upon by 20 or 30 young men. I fear for the electoral process, given some of the astonishing and I think truly awful things that happened up in Rochdale last week, including intimidation, death threats and all the rest of it. But is he right? In electoral terms, is the next election all about Muslims? I want your thoughts on this, please. Farage at GBNews.com. In a funny way... The Muslim vote could make a very, very big difference to Labour. I met, not an hour ago, a Conservative Member of Parliament. He's got a very small majority. Labour are challenging him. But if Galloway's party puts up a candidate, he'll probably hold his seat. So there could be all sorts of consequences. But what about the very concept of the Muslim vote? of now the organisation called the Muslim vote. Is this a good, healthy thing? I worry that it's deeply, deeply divisive.